Hello everybody and welcome to the second episode of Manga Reflux, where we look at the shittiest shonen manga currently running, and not running for much longer, by the way, as we found out. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, Naruto ends this month. Yeah, well, next month, there's five chapters oh, yeah. left. Mm. So, yeah, we keep saying it ends this hold month. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When we were picking chapters and when it was going to end, before we get started... Yeah. Picking chapters when it was going to end. Did any of you yep. say f- six ninety nine? I said seven hundred. Which Ooh. one of us sounds super smug right now? I That's said seven hundred. Yeah, but it's not seven hundred. It's six ninety nine. So you still lost. I was closest. <laughs> Watch, they're going to release a bonus chapter right after it ends. It'll be like, Absolutely, you got to do an epilogue. It'll be like there, seven hundred exactly. Yeah. Is it a round number? Yeah, you gotta do round number. Oh, you round stop number level. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, Shit. stop at 699. Troll the entire world. The entire round number loving world. Uh, nah. You can't resist those zeros. You can't be really. Whoa. Did zero. you really want to say that? <laughs> I can resist a zero, but not multiple. <laughs> I need to have some brothers then. Some other zeros join this podcast and we'll see what happens. It's getting weird. Okay, so we're going to start with Bleach because we always start with Bleach. So, Bleach 599. Uh, Bleach. Where's my fucking notes? Alright. <clears throat> so. Stabbed to death by sewing needles. That's yeah. novel. Gruesome, Blood, yeah. Blood explosion. Yeah. Yeah. Also, polite murder. I, I gotta say, I have an appreciation for polite murder. <laughs> you gotta be prof- professional. Yeah, brings a, a level of class and dignity pr- to proceedings. So. Yeah. And she's just like. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the needles in there. I I've already tailored you. I'm not gonna. It'd be just bad to remove needles. So you just yeah, you can die now. Mm. Just and then blood, 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 blood. Yeah. And Juha Box mustache gets super butt. Oh, his mustache is back. He, he his mustache gets super butt hurt over this. He's just like uh, like that one panel on like page it's page five on what I'm looking at, but where they show the title, he just like his mustache looks so disappointed. You used to be able to see his mouth under there, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. It's just a mustache. When he was when he was Zan Getsu in Ichigo's in Ichigo's uh, Zan Pacto, how was he hiding the magnificence of that mustache? Well, if if he had the mustache, then that would just be a giveaway, wouldn't it? I think uh, his mu- just be like, I am ridiculously powerful. <laughs> just that, check the mustache and you know it. That mustache was grown over a long period of time and carefully groomed just for this moment and every moment afterwards. <laughs> and, it's weird how obsessed with the mustache we've gotten. Yeah. <laughs> It so reminds me of, it reminds me of like Lemmy from Motorhead's mustache sideburn combo. Mm. It does actually. I was trying to think of what it reminded me of, but that that pretty much nailed it. And so you know, this girl says, "Oh, we can we can reach you now with our blades," and then he's like, "It's lol, uh, no." Nope. Uh. And then he summons uh, shadow people. People have a shadow. Okay. Oh, we have the parade of new characters because, as Kubo has stated himself, when he gets bored, he makes new characters. I was not aware of that, but that, yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I have to wonder, yep. just... That is that is how he explained creating the captains of the Gote 13. The first, that was the first big influx of new characters. Did he summon these people from his shadow? Like, were they hiding in his shadow the entire time? Or did he just, like, whenever he said that, is that what you truly believe? Were those guys like, that's the keyword, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
All those yeah, you gotta have you gotta have some drama, some fucking planning and uh, showmanship about this whole thing, you know. So. And so then. Okay, we have a parade of new characters. Yeah. We need to nickname them ASAP. I've already got okay? a few nicknames. I do too. I got some too. I I picked out nicknames. <laughs> of course. So let's let's go with uh, the first one. Stern Ritter, letter M, the Miracle. Uh, it's Gerard Valkyrie. Thor. I mean the Spartan. Captain Falcon. Thor. It's it's Thor. I went with Hawkeye wannabe. He looks just like Thor. I'm not even joking. He's got the Thor helmet, and then on the next page, he's got the Thor like. It's Thor. It's literally yeah. Thor from the Avengers and from Marvel. Kind of like a combination Thor Hawkeye, but yes. Yeah. And then we got. I got you stuck on the wing helmet thing. This guy, so. and I think he rem- he has just the X over his eye. And... Okay, Sternritter, letter X, X axis. Uh. Dead eye. I went with cross eyed. Uh, Get all it? right. Cause, uh, <laughs> cross, yeah. Shame. <clears throat> Thor, cross eyed. <laughs> Captain Thor, rather. I like Captain Thor. Uh, Stern Letter C is a compulsory. It's, okay, let me load the page because. Yeah. But. Okay. It, it just, How do we pronounce it? Panita Park Jess. Park Jess. I think there's a k in there somewhere. Yes. Laparka. Just call him. Parka. Yes. I don't know. He's just. You know those little things from Star Wars with the hoods and you have the little, like. Jawas? Just, yeah, Jawas. he's a Jawa. It's immediately what I thought of. It is. Yeah. So he's got, like, he's got, like, a Thor clone. He's got Jawa. He's got a cross eyed dude. And then he's got, like, a character design, which I'm pretty sure I've seen several times throughout the entire series. Well, this fourth one, letter D, the death dealing. <laughs> that looks like Sassy Eisen or something. I know, right? <laughs> I went with uh, Charlotte Light. I like I like just the death dealing D. Brozen. Bro Eisen. <laughs> he's Brozen. Brozen. <laughs> Frozen, letter D. Mm. Uh, like, he likes using that face a lot, doesn't he? What, the kissy lip thing? Just, it's like if you combine Eisen with, say, like... Charlotte. Yeah. Yeah, he has Charlotte's facial expressions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what have you done? You monster. Creating characters that shouldn't exist. Yeah. Oh well. So we have Thor being Thor. Yeah. Thor. Long blonde hair, Love. cape. He's like Thor, except he doesn't wear a shirt. Oh wait, no, that's pretty. And he has a round shield. Like that. <laughs> He's just basically a, an Avengers He's cosplayer. He's basically that Marvel. Play the whole team. <laughs> this guy is basically Marvel. Yeah. He's got he's got like the muscles of the Hulk, the helmet and cape of Thor, the shield of Captain America, and the lack of proper speaking that Tony Stark has. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to pull things in, but he's just <sighs> pulls out a sword oh. from his shield, and he's like, "Yeah, I can totally do things," and he totally yeah. can, sorta. Of. I, 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 yeah, the. I'd make a comment about him making a sort of male chauvinist comment on the spindly feminine arms or something. But her arms are actually just like bones or something, so that's that's a fair comment. They're freaking tiny and feeble looking. Yeah, pretty much. What's the deal with those arms, by the way? They're not I hers. Guess they're, they're just, they're, yeah, they're not hers. I don't know. They're like stereotypical... I don't know. They they look like spider legs, kind of. So I guess that goes with the whole sewing thing. I guess. 
weird. And, and then she summons her her stand slash persona, which is the giant size thing of what she had earlier. You know the things that didn't deal any damage to the one guy and got cut in half. Just a bigger one. This, I love this, this totally pun. Persona, I love the I love the pun that fucking Thor dude makes right after that. <laughs> When it shows okay. up, well, now she's a size queen. <laughs> get it? Because, you know, knitting, size yeah. queen. Uh, get it? Uh, no. Size queen as in fucking comforters and shit. Sheets yeah. and shit. Okay. And then she's like, so it, it's, it's, sort of, it's sort of a bad joke that falls flat. But it, it's still a joke that he makes because he's Thor. So do you think that was a translated joke, or probably. do you think that's probably like something the translator actually made? Uh, don't know. Like there was a joke there, but it didn't make sense in our language. And then we have Jawa guy breathing heavily, <laughs> and then this thing just falls apart. <sighs> and she's just like, "What? Oh come on! I, I just summoned this thing." And yeah. You know, it's a little bit disappointing. I, I kind of wanted to see it step on somebody. At least. Yeah. Mm. It's like, we've gotten to the point where here's my ultimate trump card, and then somebody's like, nah, your trump card sucks. And it just, it's destroyed instantly. You never get to see it. Okay. So, it gets destroyed, and then... It all goes to shit, and then... Is that a furry gun? Is that a furry gun? The gun has fur Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I want it. (laughs) Uh, And he blows her dome piece back. Yeah, Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm looking for puns. Uh, She needed this invasion like she needed a hole in the head. Uh, Anyone else? Uh, (laughs) <laughs> huh? This is a serious uh, moment. <laughs> yeah, this character that we met one chapter ago died. Maybe, probably not. Well, Come other on. dude's dead, so we met. Him, we literally met him one chapter ago. So. Shot through the head, and you're to blame. You may not great, but I appreciate the effort. Thank bad. you. <laughs> <laughs> Since the, you're the only one that joined me on that, I have. I, you guys suck. It, it, it's 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 support. Fandom flex supports its itself and each other. Yeah. Except for when it doesn't, it completely ignores itself and each other. Yeah. Okay, so that was Bleach. It was kind of. Eh, mm-hmm. Chapters go. Sorry. It was eh. Introduce more ultra powerful characters to counter the old, the ones that are already supposed to be <clears throat> ultimate compared to what we already had. Mm-hmm. They were supposed to be top of the class anyway. I think the, I think the whole point of naming the the Quincy's after letters was so that he could create twenty six more characters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I think. We could just like I accidentally created twenty six more characters. Uh, I'll put them all in. Sure. Mm. So just call them Quincy's. Why I I hate creating characters. That's so annoying to me because you have to actually get because I feel the need to give them depth. Yeah, but he doesn't. That's I how know, he does it. He's like, off. this is a character design. Here's their base personality, and their backstory is that uh, he's a brain. Uh, no, they'll never. You don't, you don't even have to worry about their backstory. They'll die anyways. But he does worry about their backstories. <laughs> occasionally, you remember emo kid. Yeah, but like. <laughs> That was like the last time we saw a backstory was like, was I think we haven't seen a backstory for one of these characters in a while. Actually, he just keeps introducing them in mass now, and it's just like but okay, yeah, the last one might have been emo kid. Actually, now that I think about yeah. it, yeah, don't mean anything. So what's the like? Point? We didn't get any backstory. We got barely any backstory from Imagination Lad. And All we got no, was he's we a got, brain. He's a brain. Yeah, <laughs> and that's a you know like the character we want backstories from. We're not getting any backstory. Yeah, now I we're wanted just one from get... Burner Finger. I think he's dead. Yeah, now. or Pepe the Love. <laughs> and we got we got nothing. <laughs> Pepe the Love. So, yeah. Uh, so that's Bleach. 
That's Bleach. That's Bleach. Alright. Naruto. Ray. This is where I get super fucking smug. Like you don't even know. Okay. Exactly one week ago, I made a prediction that Sasuke's final plan, that his entire plan, could be compared to the Zero Requiem plan from Code Geish. I was so 100% right about that. Yeah, a completely original idea these people are having. Oh, I don't care that it's something that's been done before and recently. I don't care about that. I was right, motherfuckers. Hooray? Is, is this something you want yeah. to be happy about, that you were right about Naruto? Does that make you feel proud? Why, why do you ruin things for me, Zero? <laughs> I thought we were bros. Because like, you were being a dick to. about it. <laughs> 40 seconds ago, we were like, bros, you, you back me up for a punt. <laughs> Yeah, because then you're being goofy. Now you're being a dick. So yeah, right on that parade. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I was... of all the things you could be proud about, you're proud about a prediction about Sasuke's plan. Well, it wasn't okay. even bailed well. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Did you have any idea what the fuck Sasuke was trying to do for the entirety of this series? I actually didn't care. He probably he didn't know what he was trying to do for the entirety of the series until like exactly yeah. I figured it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two chapters ago when he kind of where he said it in a very veil, very loosely veiled. All way. right, so so let's <laughs> let's let's cover this chapter. We're, we're starting out. And... Oh, I more. <laughs> And Itachi lived his life to lead me to this answer. And he's all like, Itachi was a super good guy. He was super great. And... Itachi was okay. Yeah. He was a dude. He's ignore pretty, all the mind... Ignore the mind rape. You know? Yeah. I mean. but, but in the end, he was a bro. Yeah, haven't legitimate. we established his... He was kind of a dick in yeah, pretty much was, every but, iteration, actually? He was, but older bros te technically are. It's kind of a job. Okay, as I've... an older brother of two, I can confirm this. <laughs> so yeah, um... yeah. Yeah. So he outlines his whole plan. Hint: It's zero requiem. That's his whole plan. Yeah, pretty much. He's gonna make everyone in the world hate him, and then. Either he will live because he's a selfish dickhole, or he won't and he'll let everyone kill him. And he's like, Itachi was a true Hokage because he did that. And then I'm just like, no, you're misconstruing the name. You're not understanding what the word Hokage means. Also, I'm finally understanding what Ken, uh, Casey's uh, talking about here. I'm sick of the word Hokage at this point. Stop saying it. Stop, please, please. Mm -hmm. it, it was supposed to have meaning. It's just like the leader of the village, you know? Does the, and, the village doesn't then, fucking matter anymore compared to the world. So why are you still talking about the one tiny village compared to the world? His country and his village, he would go that far to protect them. And I'm no longer like my brother. I don't have a single member of my clan left. Blah, blah, blah. He's monologuing. I am alone. This you reminds know, me of... Like, this reminds me of the Batman song from the Lego movie. Just reading all of that. Darkness. <laughs> Dead barons. More dark stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that... Uh... Yeah, so he rambles for a while. Did, did you forget a few chapters ago where you were fighting alongside Naruto, and they're like, "We're glad you're back as our friend," and you know, we're told we're actually surprisingly cool that you came back, even though you killed some people. As long as you just shut up the other people who were like saying stuff, yeah, mm. you, you're kind of cool, and they're all kind of getting along. And I was like, "I am alone, and I'm alone. I can bear all the hatred myself." <laughs> Yeah, and then we get a flashback to fucking Sage for some reason. Conflicting conversations. 
Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna become a super villain, and then I'm gonna make everybody hate me, and they'll be unified because that's totally the answer. Yeah. This, like I said, this was a stupid plan in Code Gush as well. So. Eh, it worked out in Code Gush. Yeah. Mm, it didn't though. Wasn't that the point? Yeah. It. it, 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 it he tried. Did it not? Was there a sequel or something that I didn't know about? No, it just they didn't really fix anything. It, the world was still at war, as far as I'm aware. No, they they got peace in the end. It was pretty peaceful at the end. In the epilogue. Uh, mm. I mean, okay, back to Naruto. Um, yeah. You know, Naruto's countering with there are things nobody can do alone. You know, we remember when we just fought just now and worked together. You kind of it worked, just like a few minutes ago. Yeah. And we have flashbacks to Itachi because he's awesome. apparently central to the entire plot. Itachi was the main character from the beginning. Mm. We've said that about pretty much everyone at this point, I think. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, starting over from scratch and into a pure white future, because that's how the world works. I alone shall become the darkness. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I am Sasuke. Okay. I pointed this out in my notes. And so to do that, you're going to kill the ancestral five Kage and all of the tail beasts. Can I point out something? couple things, actually. One, the Hokage, the Kage, all of them, are elected. How are they ancestral? Second, they've been around for like 60 years. Yeah, this hasn't been a hundred years where every village has existed, so... Yeah. Ancestral does not mean 100 years. No... Hmm. Let's just assume it's more five. holes in Sasuke's logic, because there are many. I tell you, this is Naruto speaking, but yeah. Oh. But Naruto's stupid, so he probably doesn't realize that it's only been 60 years that the village has been around. This really confuses me. He says, to me, Itachi is now nothing more than the past. Weren't you just talking about Itachi as him being, like, your inspiration for this plan? Now he's just nothing more than the past, like... Yeah. That's a contradiction. He's kind of more than that. He's kind of your superhero figure. Your main character. Mm-hmm. So... I kind of wish this chapter didn't happen. Just generally. Like, we could have but left it you were so as it was stoked and about just had the fight start. You were so stoked about it when you were proven right about something. What changed? Yeah. But the entire, all of this explanation and debate is all filled with circular logic and hypocrisy and bullshit and... You no, know, like, literally, the next panel after he says, um, Itachi's now nothing more than the past, the blood that rains down shall be a final memorial to my lost brother. Yeah. If he's nothing more than the past, why are you making a final memorial? Like, you 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 make no sense, Sasuke. Yeah, and Naruto wants to save Sasuke because reasons. Because Itachi said so. Because Itachi is the main character. The series should have been named Itachi. No, it should have been named Uchiha. Uh, and yay, yay Uchiha. Really mm. should have actually, and that's depressing. Mm. I think Ken might have pointed that out once. And then oh. finally, on the last freaking page, after all this circular logic and all this talking back and forth and repeating what's been said throughout the entire series over and over and over again, they start fighting. 
Yay, fighting. The conflicting feel... conversations with the sage are hilarious to me. You ever feel... Why is that? Yeah. The ones with Sasuke and Naruto is like, Sasuke and I aren't real brothers, but I think I'll be able to fix things between us. And then Sasuke like losing Itachi. I thought that now I was finally alone, but Naruto was still there. I absolutely have to kill Naruto. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Well, in fairness, Sasuke has had a bit of a screwed up family life. <laughs> so... Fair enough. <laughs> You'd think, well, it's screwed up, yes, but it's screwed up in a way that he he wouldn't kill his family. He'd, like, treasure them above everything else. He would absolutely kill his family at this point. I mean, think about it. Madara Uchiha was fucking batshit crazy pants. Then we got Obito, who was kind of a cool dude and then became batshit crazy, crazy pants. Then we got Fugaku and his whole coup d'etat thing that was... That shit, crazy pants. And then we have Itachi, who decided to torture him for several years, and then eventually force him to kill Itachi. And that, I still don't quite know what the whole plan was <laughs> for that. But it was pretty much that shit, crazy, crazy pants. So I figured he would just try and kill any family member that he actually had anymore, just in case, you know, he's not had good experience with them. So it's a precautionary measure at this point. It's a fair point, that just-in-case mentality is usually pretty extreme, but I mean, in this case, it's pretty justified. Yeah, kind of. Hmm. So stupid. <laughs> so, flashbacks to the very, well, probably before the beginning of the series, with them as kids, and now they're fighting to the death and stuff, and all. Oh. I'll... St- one thing that strikes me as really weird about these last two pages, why has Naruto not powered up in any way? His fighting style has suddenly become very super Saiyan. In his base form, he's just not very powerful. Mm. In fairness, if they were to go fucking Super Saiyan, then they'd probably destroy the planet at this point. Mm. You're falling into the DBZ logic of you're thinking the planet's made of glass. The series has fallen into the DBZ logic, thank you very much. So yes. I think they would probably destroy the planet at this point. I like how at the end of DBZ for the final battle against Majin, against Kid Buu, they went to a planet that was basically in the afterlife because they couldn't destroy it. Uh, that was good. But unlike the chapter, yeah. the chapter was not good. I like uh, the fact that they're fighting now. I, I like the fact that he took an entire chapter of just repeating the same thing over and over again to extend the life of his manga just a bit more. I'm I'm going to call the fight that happens next, whatever the next chapter is called. It's not what the name is. The name of the next chapter for me is the battle of who could care less, because I really don't care about this fight at all, which is sad. Like, there was a time, like, when you really wanted Naruto to be good. Like, even now, I still want, Naruto, I still want Naruto to be good, because, you know, I, it's not like I, you know, hate the series. It's just that it's gotten so much worse. I just want it over. Yeah. I remember that one chapter that was really great? Yeah. Tied up the whole Uchiha versus Senju thing. And then Naruto got to say his final goodbye to his dad that echoed his mum's last words to him and everything. Yeah. It was super great. Wrapped everything up so nicely. Yeah, it's chapters, We're never going to have that again. It, it's chapters Probably like not. these that, uh, that really kind of hurt Naruto as a series and make people want it to be over quickly. Well, we got our wish. I'm kind of glad about that. I'm kind of not. Because we just fucking started this show, okay? <laughs> we can't stop at seven episodes. Uh, if there's any other manga you guys read, we can start up a new short one. There will be plenty other manga. <laughs> yeah, but will we ever find anything as, with such crystallized terribleness as this? You can start reading Ron. I think it'll be a challenge, but I think we can pull it off. 
I, I think we could start with maybe trying something good and then and then seeing how it goes into crap. Whoa, whoa, let's not be crazy here. I mean I I s what? <laughs> what are you freaking out about? <laughs> you wanted to move on to something good? I'm not I'm not prepared for that emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's a bit of a shift, yeah. Uh, we, we could, we, okay. For now, until the end, Naruto and Bleach five ever. I'm almost tempted to say we could try One Piece, but it's that's too far in. That's a whole lot of reading for some people that don't know what the fuck's going on. I got a few options and like internalized lined up, but yeah, so that's Nardo. Yay! Yeah. Why are you I'm yaying? Good. You should be booing. Enthusiasm for that. The way you were talking, you should be booing, not yaying. Hey, at least Casey was right. Yay! <laughs> That's something you want to be wrong about. It's predicting that. I, I feel like it would have been better to be wrong about that. Because what if they tried something new and different? And fresh and exciting. You remember when they tried something new and different? And fresh and exciting? Yeah. It's called fucking Eldritch Abomination Born from a Tree. No. Came out of the fucking moon. And her son was a shadow dude that decided to hang out in her sleeves for some reason. That sucked because it literally came out of nowhere. That was, but it was new. It wasn't exciting. It, it really was. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so that was Manga Reflux episode two. Everyone decided to shit on my parade, and <laughs> now I'm all miserable and shit, so... Yep, uh, all back to level now. Yep. <laughs> the status quo has returned. Thanks for listening. Bye now. Bye! Bye.